Do the other Soviet bloc states have their own intel agencies? Yes, but the first part of your question is very interesting. Because the Soviet bloc had some massive successes working their intel agencies in tandem with each other, but the Stasi and their Polish counterparts hated each other at worst and openly mistrusted each other at best, and it led to one of the softest holes in the East German security state. So first, when directed by Moscow, the security agencies had some shocking successes that are still reverberating to this day. See the Czech-led Neptune and the Soviet bloc collaboration in Denver. A lot of this is due, particularly with the Stasi, in how they viewed themselves as holding the legacy of the Soviet Cheka, so they shaped themselves in the image of the parent organization. But on the other hand, when left to their own devices, the security agencies didn't play well with, with each other. I've heard the term unwanted siblings to describe the relationship, and it shows, especially with East Germany and Poland. One thing to understand is during the 1970s, there existed the Borders of Friendship program. This allowed basically visa-free travel between certain Soviet bloc states, and it was very popular. Then after Poland starts experiencing unrest in the 1980s, the borders are shut again. Uh, Erich Honecker, the leader of East Germany, offered to send uh, troops into Poland to help uh, suppress any uprisings. And so thus you needed a damn good reason to cross the border, especially if you were a dissident that was already being highly monitored and your movement was being controlled by the state. And one of those reasons was to visit family members, and it leads to one of those super soft holes in the East German security state that I mentioned. As mentioned in Tim Moore's Burning Down the House, this could register with the East German state that they had family in Poland, and they would then be allowed to visit that family. But the security services of each country didn't trust each other, which made it impossible for the East German state to verify with the Polish state that, they, that these people actually had family in Poland. The Polish security services wouldn't share this information with the East Germans. And I've ended up talking to many people from East Germany who weren't dissidents that said that they themselves took advantage of this loophole, suddenly discovering family in Poland. And contextually for why this uh, loophole exists, you have to look at things like the Helsinki Declaration, where East Germany on paper committed themselves to allowing uh, freer travel for people to visit family members. And they were loath to let people leave the Soviet bloc, but I can hazard a guess they, they viewed it as an easy win if they were letting people to at least stay inside of you know, the Soviet bloc, fictional family or not.